Welcome to the third Today We Review. Today we are reviewing Blackfish. It was released in 2013. It's rated PG-13, and it is a documentary. It's about uh, killer whales, and mainly about how they're treated once they've been captured, and uh, almost an anti-sea world movie with their captivity methods. Just finished watching it, and yes, 10 out of 10, final rating. It's wonderful. Documentary is perfect, never slow. It's definitely worth it. The movie mainly uh, focuses on a killer whale, an orca, named Tilikum. When he was captured at the age of two, he was taken to uh, Sealand of the Pacific, I believe in British Columbia. So while at Sealand of the Pacific, Tilikum is involved in a uh, death of a trainer. I guess the trainer had been walking around the edge and then slipped, causing her foot to fall into the uh, water, and I believe it probably startled them, or it wasn't part of the act, so they didn't know what to do and went back to their more uh, primal instincts, and I guess Tilikum dragged her in by her foot, and then the other two females that are in Tilikum's tank with him ended up helping to keep the trainer submerged. The movie features interviews from former SeaWorld employees, ones that actually took care of Tilikum, the whale in question. There's also uh, two eyewitnesses from the Sea Land of the Pacific incident where Tilikum dragged down the uh, trainer. And these two eyewitnesses, I guess, were never questioned when, that, uh, when there was an inquisition done by Sea Land of the Pacific. However, they identified that it was Tilikum due to the fact that he has the top collapsed dorsal fin. In captivity, it is found that the male dorsal fin on the top uh, is collapsing. Usually, it actually occurs in a lot of the captive males. And in the wild, that does not happen. And it shows in the movie throughout where SeaWorld employees are just spreading disinformation to the patrons that come. They say the average span is about 30 years and that they live actually longer in captivity which is the complete opposite of the truth. So it shows that SeaWorld employees, they get indoctrinated with this and they don't really think of anything else. Like I had mentioned previously, the movie does feature interviews from former SeaWorld uh, employees and that most of them act remorseful about how the animals were treated and that it was terrible and the fact that they were uh, just going along with the spiels they were told and they kind of just repeated it and they act remorseful now but it's hard for me to empathize with them about their grief mainly because they still did it and they got paid to do it and if they feel so bad about it there's one point where one of the whale hunters actually almost looks like he's about to cry but if he felt that bad about it I would have stopped one of the best but definitely most sad parts is when they're showing the capture of the babies from the mother. It appears that they'd been captured before, so when they went and begun to swarm the whale pod, the males and the single ones separated to lead the ships away. And then all of a sudden, I guess, a plane was following them, and then when the mothers and babies uh, popped up for air, because they do have to surface for air, our airplane was able to see them, and so then they were captured, and then they would just take the little ones because I guess the shipping costs were too much. And you can hear the mother whales start to scream, and it's like terrible cries, and you know it's pretty much like the equivalent of a human being kidnapped, being ripped from their mother. The movie's great, but it's terribly emotional. So Blackfish is a great movie. It is 10 out of 10. The best documentary I've seen in a long time. I'm trying to think of any others. Blackfish definitely first one that comes to mind, the only one that comes to mind right now. It's insightful, it has interviews with the people uh, from, that used to train them well. It has other researchers and other points of view. It has actual uh, footage from incidents, and it sheds a whole light on this that I really think needed to be. I think this will be like uh, what bully was for the bullying situation, Blackfish will be for uh, hopefully whales in captivity. It's a great documentary for many reasons but especially with uh, it has such a grip on you the whole time you're watching it there's not a single time when you're bored or anything like that and I have to feel sad for honestly Tilikum he had a shit ass life it hits you emotionally 
uh, it's a perfect movie, 10 out of 10. I was never uh, hugely drawn to water parks, or not water parks, but uh, sea worlds. I went to one when I was a child and I actually ended up getting to train a dolphin when I was there. Got to give it a fish while I did a few tricks for me. Getting it was pretty awesome. In Florida I did that. But this movie, it really shows that aquatic amusement parks aren't really all that great. They're really bad for the animals. It really shows where they have the whales and they've been fighting each other. And then they bring it out to do a show. The whale flips up onto the landing and you can see just blood coming out, just gouges. You can hear the speaker saying, don't touch the whales for your safety, whatever. But it's just like, I can't believe they went out and made them do shows like that. They're bleeding. There's a point in the movie where it gives a visualization of all the incident reports. And there's like pages just turning of all the incident reports involving uh, captive killer whales and the, their surroundings and their interactions with people. And it really surprised me because I've never heard of any of killer whale incidents actually. There's a good point that's made, uh, one of the researchers that is interviewed says that in the wild there's zero, zero reports of, uh, of killer whale fatalities on humans in the wild. So I think Google should get on that. They should send out their uh, Google Street View cameras for tracking some whales. Then we can just use our Google map to follow the whales around. Then we don't even have to have sea parks or anything like that. And then we can just see them back and watch them from our own home like they would be in the wild. Get on that, people. Thanks for watching. Today we review Blackfish. If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them below. On Twitter, you can get at me with the hashtag TodayWeReview or my Twitter handle, MadLFan. I will be uh, looking at them for suggestions in future. Thanks for watching.